Well, hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on this quick video, I am gonna show you what comes in the Magnolia Design Company July Craft Club box. Um, we're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna show you a ton of other ideas of things that you can do with the adorable stencil that is exclusive to Craft Club and that comes in the July box. So as you're hopping on, say hello. Um, I do love to see where you're watching from, so tell me that. Feel free to ask questions. At the very end, I'll get you links. And let me just say up front, if you haven't joined Craft Club yet, why not? <laughs> it's $19.99 or $0.95 cents a month, plus tax and shipping, and you get everything you need for a whole entire project. You get the surface. Um, you get a squeegee, you get a stencil, you get whatever the medium is that's for the project, whether that's chalk paste or ink. You even get doodads. Um, and other craft clubs, you just get a stencil and a couple of chalk paste. So it's a really fabulous deal. It's something different and fun every month. And the stencils are reusable many, 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 many times. So without further ado, let me push this stuff over to the side for a second. We'll come back to that. Let me show you what came in my box. So this month we're making these adorable decorative wooden spoons. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. And um, you're gonna get instructions and there's also a QR code for a video that shows you how to do this project. I know some people like to learn by reading, others like to learn by watching, so you have both. And you're gonna get this adorable stencil. Oh my gosh. It's all different kitchen things and there's several different styles here too. So this is what it has. I'm just gonna read them to you. Kiss the cook. I think we're gonna use that one. Shake it up. Life is short, lick the spoon. I think we're gonna use that one. Um, just beat it, just roll with it, whip it good. Bless this kitchen. I think we're going to use that one. Look at this adorable cupcake. Um, Baker's going to bake. And then if you like farmhouse or farm style or, or farm or rustic or country or any of that, it, there's farm fresh. There's this awesome cow. And then this fabulous rooster. Um, so it has 12 different pieces. And you guys, this stencil by itself, if you're just going to buy it from Magnolia, I can't remember what they are, but they're like $16. And you're going to get this whole entire kit for $19.95. Then you're going to get this set of wooden spoons, three of them. And these are nice. Nice, nice. They have big, broad heads. They're really nice. They look like they're varnished. Now, these are going to be decorative, okay? So you're not going to decorate them and then use them to make a cake or to cook a stir fry or something. They're gonna be decorative, but there's a ton of different things that you could do with them. And then you're gonna get, if you've never done any of these stenciling projects, signing up for Craft Club is a great way to give it a try because you'll get everything you need each month. And even for the first time, if you don't even have a squeegee, every month you're gonna get a new squeegee. And then this month it's using chalk paste. So you'll get a little pouch that has chalk paste in here and there's plenty of chalk paste for multiple projects. You can save it, I usually just tape it closed. And then you're gonna get this long piece of ribbon that will, um, it's one of the doodads. And I'm all about doodads. So let's give it a try and then I'm gonna give you some other ideas. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna do is decide which pieces of the stencil you want to do. And I'm gonna do Kiss the Cook. Um, I mean, there, there's too many cute ones here, I can't decide. Bless this kitchen, and then I'm gonna, just for fun, do this cupcake. It's adorable. I've seen both the cow and the rooster done, and they are super cute too. Okay, so these stencils come with a little mark where you're gonna cut them. I'm not doing a very good job, and I have all these other pieces. And you guys, um, if you're new, if you've never stenciled before, these are reusable 
many, 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 many times if you take care of them. So I could use this on this project and then I can come back and I have some other ideas to share with you. I could use it 20 more times. I could make Christmas gifts. I could make hostess gifts. I could make stuff for my own kitchen. Oh my word, I could make all kinds of things. All kinds of things. Okay, so the first thing I always do is label the back of my carry sheet. And this says, bless this kitchen. And uh, maybe you're wondering why. It's so I know which little piece to put it back on once it's clean and dry. It's also so I know which side to put it on because that's important. Cupcake and kiss the cook. I'll use all of these. And um, you can pick up cute stuff like uh, oven mitts, pot holders, um, little wood boards, all kinds of things from Dollar Tree. So you can make a ton of fun gifts for hostess gifts, for Christmas gifts, for all kinds of different things. Okay, so they're all labeled. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fuzz them because these are brand spanking new and these green stencils are sticky. And I don't wanna stretch them when I'm removing them from my surface. So Magnolia has this, it's called a tacky towel. Um, you can fuzz your stencils on a tacky towel. I could fuzz them on my little dress. I could fuzz them on a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, a pair of khakis. You just want to get just a teeny bit of the sticky stickiness off. Let's lay this on here to do it so you can see. Okay, and you can decide, do you want your design on the inside of the spoon or the outside of the spoon? I think I'm going to do the outside of the spoon. Although there's no right or wrong. This is so cute. Kiss the cook. I have an apron here that I'm going to show you in a minute. And I think I'm going to use this one on that apron too. Okay, so I'm just pushing it down to get it stuck on here. These are great because they don't slip or slide. Um, you could take it off and reposition it. They're super easy to wash. So tell me in the comments if you are part of my craft club. Um, I would love to know. And have you received your July project yet? And if you want information on craft club, just say link or info and I'll get that to you when I'm all done. Okay, I'm gonna take my brands, make a new squeegee. A little bit of chalk paste it's not going to require very much at all and I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing and we're just gonna spread this my little spoon and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do to treat it after um, it's not going to go in a sink of soapy water it could be cleaned off if it got dusty with a, a dry microfiber towel or a paper towel or something, but you don't want to get this wet even if you do treat it. Okay, that's what it looks like. And let's do the peel and reveal. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to throw this over here in a little tub of water until I can get out to my kitchen to clean it. I'm not gonna let it soak a super long time in that water, just when I'm live. So I have this adorable um, apron here that my friend Susie sent me, and I think she picked this up in the Netherlands last summer. I've used it, but I haven't decorated it yet. And here, let me tell you my idea. I think I'm going to do Kiss the Cook right here on the pocket. And then I think I'm going to do, like in the lapel area, the cupcake that we're going to be using. Or I could do um, just beat it or baker's going to bake or something super cute. But look how adorable this apron is. 
you can pick up aprons uh, all over the place. So that is one plan. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do, let's see, look how adorable that is. I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry for a minute. Let's do the cupcake next. And I'm choosing to do my stencils on the back flat side of these wood spoons. These are nice, by the way. The ones that you can get at Dollar Tree are $1.25 a piece, or sometimes they have two or three in them, but they're the really skinny little handles. They're not um, stained or, or have any kind of varnish on them. This is really, really nice. I'm just eyeballing what is center. There's a teeny weeny little bit of a bend on this, on the spoon. So I'm just gonna press it down really good. I'm gonna pick up some of my chalk paste. Put my glasses on. Isn't it a cute apron? If Susie's watching, thank you so much. I went out to my kitchen to look to see if I still had the apron hanging in my closet and sure enough, it was there. Uh, and it, I've worn it, I just haven't decorated it yet. Um, as a crafter, of course, I have to decorate every kind of thing like an apron or tea towel, for sure. Okay, that's what that looks like. I'm gonna pull it off straight. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. So adorable. Kiss the cook and a cupcake. So it would make sense if you were gonna do the cupcake to do the baker's gonna bake. Uh, what did I pull out? I'm gonna do bless this kitchen, but these are super cute. Okay, so let's do our last one. These um, tacky towels and the other things, not the apron, but the other things I'm gonna show you in a minute, are available on magnoliadiy.com. There's no space. If you put a space in there, it will take you to a barbecue store. But anyways, um, Magnolia has a ton of awesome stencils and surfaces and different colors, chalk paste and ink and tools and all kinds of great stuff. So if you wanna look before I get to links, um, it's magnoliadiy.com. So M-A-G-N-O-L-I-A-D-I-Y, period, C-O-M, no space. Okay. This is so cute. I'm just pushing it down really well because like I said, there's a slight curve to this spoon, so I wanna make sure I don't have any air bubbles or anything in there. And, apply some chalk paste. Of course, if you have chalk paste in other colors, and you wanted to do these in red, or blue, or pink, or purple, or absolutely whatever color gray you wanted, you could do that. I'm just showing you how they look with the black chalk paste that comes in your kit. So here's how Craft Club works. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for saying oh my gosh so much, but look how adorable that is. Um, so Craft Club works like this. It's an ongoing subscription kind of a thing. Um, it's $19.99 a month plus sales, whatever your sales tax and shipping, which is usually around $5. You get the box with everything um, to make a whole project, instructions, there's a video and everything. It will come roughly the same time each month. So if you enroll in Craft Club on the 9th today, then you should have your Craft Club be shipping out around the 9th of each month. So it'll come roughly the same time each month. Oh no. Oh. I stuck my fingers in this, but I didn't mess it up. I just got it on my fingers. Um, so we'll come around the same time each month. And most people 
but in my experience, we've had craft clubs since October. They like getting their craft club better towards the beginning of the month. So the earlier you enroll in it, the better. Um, it's a three month commitment. And then after that, you can just, if you don't like it, which I can't imagine why, you can cancel um, or just keep going. I've been getting it since October and I've loved it every single month. I have a whole basket of previous projects, which I'm not gonna pull out today because I wanna talk about some other things that you can do but I might post pictures in the comments of all the past projects, they've been awesome. Okay, so look, I still have a little bit of chalk paste on my paper plate and some on my little squeegee. And I did one teeny, teeny little squeeze out of my little pouch. So there's gonna be ton of medium left over. Um, so let's, talk about what, um, how I'm going to treat it, and let's talk about other projects that you can do. All right, Magnolia has some awesome surfaces that I don't know if, if you have ever looked at any of them. They have these adorable little mini rolling pins, and it would be super cute to put something on this. Um, these look great in two-tiered stands, in case you're wondering. This is new. They just got this set of four coasters. They're like white. I don't know if this is wood or MDF or it looks like painted wood. And it has four nice coaster bottoms with an adhesive back. That's new. This would be super cute on that. Um, they have these adorable little mini cutting boards, which I don't have any right now, but they're very similar to these adorable little tags. Really nice. These tags, by the way, come with, they come with jute and doodads. So these are cute, and these would be cute to do a stencil on. You could use your chalk paste. You would use your chalk paste for this also, and for this also. Um, that black would work just fine for all of those. They also have um, these, which you might consider putting two stencils on. This is a pack of... Um, a teacup and a cup. They're like a, I don't know what these are made of. They're, I think they're painted wood or they might be painted MDF, but they're like a blackboard style and they have the jute with it to hang it. And you can put a cute little um, stencil on here. These are adorable in the kitchen. And I'll get links for all of that if you want to just look. And then this is kind of new. I haven't used these yet. I'm not sure if they're in stock, but if they're not in stock, they'll be coming back in stock. They come with the little bit of jute. It looks like a cast iron skillet, and you get a package of two. And they'd be super cute, hun, with the stencil on them in your kitchen. You could put a ribbon on them to dress them up. So those are some ideas. You would do all those things with chalk paste. With the black surfaces, I would use a lighter color like white or cream or light gray or something. Okay, but then also you could do some tea towels. These are just tea towels that I picked up at a store called Craft Warehouse, but you can get all kinds of different styles of tea towels at Target, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, um, Home Goods, that, that's a good source, Amazon. Um, you can order from Craft Warehouse online, but I don't know, I have not experienced that, so I don't know how good the service is when you order online. Um, so we could do tea towels. I would use ink if I was gonna do tea towels, but any one of these things would be adorable. This rooster in the center would be super cute hanging over the door on the stove, and you could do something coordinating like Farm Fresh with the eggs on the other one be super cute. Um, or like I said, you could do an apron. You could do some tea towels. You could come up with a theme, like a color. Color and country. So yellow plus 
the, the farmhouse style. And you could use these three stencils on a variety of different things and use them all in your kitchen. Like all yellow with black with this theme or the baking. Um, I mean, the rest of it's mostly kitchen stuff. Adorable. Uh, you could use red, you could use whatever your colors are. And, um, and then when you get this kit, you're gonna get this ribbon too. So let me see what is a third and a third. Now let's talk for a second about different ways to display this. Um, and I wanna do that without messing them up because they're still kind of wet. And I've already stuck my finger in these once. I mean, look how seriously cute they are. Again, if you missed the beginning, these are decorative. They're, I mean, they're not gonna, you're not gonna use these and pop them in the dishwasher. They're decorative for your kitchen, but they're super cute. So when these are fully dry, I will take them outside and I will put two light coats of a clear spray sealer. You choose whether you like matte, that's what I like, or glossy. You can get Rust-Oleum brand, a lot of other brands at any hardware store, at Walmart, online, at Amazon, whatever um, you like to do. I get this at Walmart, it's under $5 and it lasts a long time. It's Rust-Oleum, American Accents, two times ultra, cover matte clear spray sealer so i would do two light coats over this okay and then i would probably put them in a crock or something maybe by themselves or with other wooden spoons with a little bow around their neck let's see if i can tie this well, I was able to tie it, but I didn't get my tails the same length. But anyways, you get the idea. So that's one option. Another option would be to hang them together from this little hook that's at the top. Like they could be three offset spoons. Of course, if you're gonna do it that way, do the stencils the other direction. And you can just hang them on a little nail that you put in your wall. Or you could do an arrangement like this and just use a piece of two-sided tape. Oops, 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 oops. Two-sided tape to keep the pieces. Um, do you see what I'm saying? So that they're together and then hang it that way. So there's tons of cute things that you could do with these. And once you get this set, you can get some more spoons, some more wooden spoons, and make these till the cows come home. <laughs> Seriously. Um, these would be just a fun little gift. Sometime when somebody invites you over for dessert or for dinner or something, they'd be a fun hostess gift. I'd grab a pot holder and an oven mitt and maybe a plain tea towel, um, inexpensive ones, and I'd make a whole set. If I knew what the, the person's kitchen theme was, like if it was blue and turquoise, I'd use blue and turquoise ink, and I'd do um, a variety of these stencils on different things and give them to the host as a host gift. These could also be super cute in Christmas stockings. I mean, there's so many things that you could do. I love to make tea towels and give them away. In fact, I just went to my friend's birthday dinner last night and I had bought her a fabulous candle and this beautiful, oh, I bought her the, this beautiful little bracelet that had Morse code on it. It was so cool. But anyways, my other friend that was there said, really? I thought you were gonna make her some tea towels. I'm like, dang, I completely forgot. But I love to make tea towels. So for tea towels, you would use ink. Um, anyways, this set is adorable. And like I said at the beginning of the video with Craft Club, this whole thing, this whole project with the squeegee and the chalk paste and the ribbons is $20, 19.99 or 
95. If you were just gonna get a stencil like this, one of these mini sets, they're like $16 just by themselves. So it's a great value every month. And most people say they love them. Okay, where did I get the cups and the skillets from? These came from magnoliadiy.com. And if you don't wanna have to hunt them down, just say link and I'll get you a link that will take you straight to all these different things. So you can just click and go and you don't have to hunt for an hour to find info. Barb, I'll, Barbara, I'll get you a link as soon as I'm finished. So there's lots of different fun surfaces that you can get from magnoliadiy.com. Um, you could build all kinds of things for a two-tiered stand for your kitchen. Um, and uh, anyways, if you have questions, yeah, I'll get everybody links just as soon as I turn my phone off and sit down. Um, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you liked this, please think about sprinkling. Um, oh, whoops, one last thing. <laughs> if you haven't already liked and followed DIY Dreaming, you might want to do that so you have a better odds that Facebook will show you what I have coming up in the next week or so because I have some... I have some great projects in the works that I can't wait to show you. Okie dokie, and those buttons should be up here. If you're watching on Facebook, you wanna like and follow, and you want to um, set your notifications and maybe say something to me in the comments. That helps. Uh, still, sometimes you just don't see things because of Facebook's algorithms. If you're watching on YouTube, um, just, uh, click the like button and sub subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to. Okie dokie, I will get close up pictures. I'm gonna sit down and read all your comments and I will get links out to everyone who wants one. Don't hesitate to ask questions and thanks so much for joining me.